critical study. And what it found when they looked at, okay, here are three groups of people who were uh, receiving J&J &J or one of two of the mRNAs, either Pfizer or Moderna. Now, when we go to boost them, they randomized them to uh, boosting with, with any of the three. So we have nine groups that they looked at. And what they found was that people who initially had J&J, &J, if they got boosted with J&J, &J, they had about a fourfold increase in their antibody titers. If they got boosted with Pfizer, they had a 35-fold increase in the antibody titers. And if they got boosted with Moderna, it was a 75-fold increase. So what this says is maybe J&J &J recipients for their initial dose, they need a different kind of booster. And so this really um, is, is important data as we have seen yesterday and what we will see today, these discussions at the FDA about boosting. Yesterday, they discussed Moderna and said, yes, okay, boost with Moderna. Today, they're digging into J&J. &J, and I think you know one of the things that they'll wrestle with is the fact that these data from this trial are suggesting people with J&J &J perhaps should be boosted with something else for, for a higher response. However, that's not what the J&J &J application has asked, right? The J&J &J application at the FDA is asking for boosting with J&J. &J. So next week when the ACIP meets, we are going to see kind of the really the true value of this process having so many steps in it. Although it seems like this takes a while, the value of this process is that FDA is going to review these data. They have to respond to the application from J&J, &J, which is booster with J&J, &J, but ACIP will look at the broader look at the data and say, okay, based on what we know, what can we recommend potentially about mixing and matching? So ACIP and then ultimately the CDC director will have a big job next week. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.